Good morning, everybody. Just before I ask my question, it's interesting to hear about medicine stockpiling, because I am one of those type 1 diabetics mm. who's an insulin pump user, and I'm still a wee bit wary of the continuity of future supply. But I suppose I can follow that up. Uh, all we can go by, and I, I know you are, <laughs> you know, uh, all I can, we can go by is the assurances we receive. And the assurances in the UK Department of Health is that insulin has been stockpiled by... I think more than one manufacturer, so that would be available for an extended period of time. The other problem with the No Deal, and I just make this point, is we don't know how long it would last. Uh, and you know, if you look at figures that were out earlier this week, British uh, business has gone through an extraordinary stockpile in, in recent weeks. There's a remarkable graph, which I'm sure we can provide to you, which shows the extent of stockpiling, which is unprecedented. Uh, you know, at any time in the last half century, I think. Now, apparently pharmaceutical companies have done this, uh, the, these stockpiles exist, and uh, as far as we are aware, there are very few drugs for which there are not alternatives, even if they, the drug is not stockpiled. But insulin is a particular worry because it's not manufactured in these islands. Mm -hmm.